All right, so we're talking level five innovative technique and rhythms. So the thing is going to be that you will have to skip ahead in the video again for your particular instrument uh, as each one is going to be doing a little bit different because of the different strings. So we're going to run through the four different lines for each instrument. We're going to talk through each thing and just make sure that you get what you need to make sure that you're getting the correct technique. So let's get started. Violin. <clears throat> so for you, a lot of yours is going to be focusing on your E string and getting some of that done. Uh, the other instruments will have, of course, their C string or the bass low E string. We've also got dotted quarter notes. We've got double stops, which we're going to be talking about over the next few uh, periods with uh, these videos. So let's get started. Uh, first thing first, line one dotted quarter notes so dotted quarter notes once again one and so you're going to hold that dotted quarter note out for one and a half beats then you have the e which is on the and of the beat so if we play a dotted quarter note one and three okay so here we go line one Watch your slurring, watch your dynamics. We are in the key of D. One, two, three, four. Okay, so Again, dotted quarter notes. <clears throat> Line two, um, we're gonna take it slow right now. It is supposed to be allegro. So thinking 120 beats or so per minute. We are at 72 just so we can learn the piece. Um, <clears throat> we've got double stops. Double stops in measure two, measure four, and measure six. Again, double stop just means to play two strings at one time. So you have to roll that bow over to settle on both strings. Maybe use a tiny bit more pressure, but not too much. You don't want to crush the sound. Okay, so here we go. Line two. Two, three, four. So that line, that measure four is a little tricky, getting that E and A, make sure that you're not flattening out and hitting that A string. Then you got to adjust your finger so that it's in tune. You gotta roll up and roll down just a little bit. All right, now comes the fun stuff with our E string. So we are in the key of G now. So we're going to have some low twos, getting that lowered second finger. Um, <clears throat> and of course, getting our fourth finger for a high B. Take a moment, look through this line three. D, E, F, D, E, F, G natural E, F sharp, G, A, F sharp, G, A, B, G, A, so on and so forth. Go slowly. So we're talking this slow. get that lowered second finger you got to get that fourth finger up there bring your elbow in make sure your pinky does not flatten get that pinky curved yep. and then backwards Okay. 
So that's what it should sound like. Go through, let's do it with a metronome. One and two and three and four and. Sorry about that bobble. So let's go through it with the metronome. One, two, ready, and. So again, getting that string crossing, that's tough. Take your time. All right, line four. Now this is meant for the viola and cello for their C string, but this allows us to practice our C major scale. So getting that low two. Same idea. One, two, three low twos. <laughs> So it's a tiny different pattern, okay? So take your time, work through these each day. It'll make you a better performer for next year. Viola. So we've got your four lines on the Innovative Technique and Rhythms level five. Um, line one, pretty straightforward, but we do have dotted quarter notes, which we've talked about before. Dotted quarter notes, you have one and a half beats. So if we have a metronome, one and three. One and three. That's a dotted quarter note and then an eighth note. Okay, so that would be the first two things you see in line one. All right, now the rest of it's pretty similar. Just make sure that you listen and go along with. Listen to it a couple times and then go back and practice it. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Okay, so you hear some slurs. You also should have some crescendo and decrescendo, things like that. Line two, double stops. Double stops are really easy. It's just doing two strings at once. You just might have to turn your bow over slightly so you hit both strings. Might add just a tiny bit more pressure to you know even the sound out, but you don't want to do too much or you will crush the sound. So measure two, measure four, measure six have double stops. Measure two has a double stop first finger and open A. So make sure that you get your E up and you to get off of the A string. You should be able to play an open A underneath your E on your D string. Okay? So here we go. One, two, three, four. Okay, so again, you, you got to get that first finger up, and you also have to tune a little bit. All right, line three, line three. This is mostly for the violin and bass to get their E string rocking, but we're going to, you know, it's a good pattern to know. Uh, we're starting on D. I would use fourth finger for some of these A's. It makes it easier. 
Um, take your time. Go through this slowly. About that slowly. So that you can check each note. Okay? Uh, <clears throat> we're going to do it at 72 beats per minute with the metronome. Two, three, four. Pretty straightforward. It's D. It's we're in the key of G technically, uh, but we don't need any of the low twos because we haven't gotten to that note in that exercise. All right, line four. This is for you. Your C string, getting down there to that low C, um, and building your way up. Again, take your time. Look through it. Make sure you're getting all of the right notes. Um, go slowly. <laughs> It'll sound very similar to the D major one, or the G major one we did in line three. Again, here we go. 72 beats per minute, nice full sound. One and two and three and four and. So again, slow practice is what you need. Focus on the right notes. Get them where they need to be. Cellists, your turn. Level five, sound technique and rhythms. So line one, dotted quarter notes. Uh, a dotted quarter note lasts one and a half beats. So we have a metronome. You have one and three. <laughs> So that is a dotted quarter note and an eighth note, which is what you would have in the very beginning right there on line one. So here we go. Watch your slurs. Watch your dynamics. We have increasing of dynamics. We are in the key of D, so nice and easy. One, two, three, four. Pretty straightforward, just watching those dotted quarter notes and slurs. Line two, double stops. Double stops are where you play two strings at the same time. So all you will have to do is just roll your bow over so you're hitting both strings. Maybe add a tiny bit more pressure, but not too much because you don't want to crush the sound. You don't want to have that crunchy sound. So just roll over and you can get two strings. Pretty straightforward. The biggest thing is that in measure th uh, four, you have an E and an A. So you have to make sure that you can get both strings. So you have to roll your hand up straight down onto the fingerboard. Let me, the A string ring underneath. Here we go. It's supposed to be Allegro, which is 120-ish. We're going to go 72 just so we can focus on getting that technique. Two, three, four. This is for the violins and the bass mostly, uh, so yours is going to be a little bit easier. Take your time though. This pattern is a very important pattern. It helps to build music up. And it keeps, you can build and build and a lot of other patterns are built off of it. Go slowly. I'm talking. <laughs> So on 
and so forth, uh, so that you can really focus on each note and know where they are. We're going to go 72. We're keeping that metronome consistent this time around. Here we go. One and two and three and four and... Again, pretty straightforward. Um, no second fingers or anything like that, even though we are in the key of G. Line four, this is for you and the violas to get that C string, okay? So take a moment, look through this. It starts down here. through it. The pattern is pretty close to what was in line three. Um, slight variation at the end. Okay. Again, we're at 72, even though it is on Dante. Okay. Um, so about this tempo, maybe a little bit faster, but here we go. 72. Line four. One and two and three and four and You go cellos make sure you work through it nice and slow get every single note correct bass your turn so again we're working on quite a few different things this last bit of the book we've got dotted quarter notes in in line one so a dotted quarter note is one and a half beats here's your metronome so one and three So keep that bow moving for the entire dotted quarter note. Uh, that's what line one is focusing on. You've got dotted quarter note in the first measure, the third measure, and the fourth measure, and you've got some slurs. You're also going to have some shifting. So you start off in first position, then shift up. So right there in that third measure, Probably string crossing is a little easier. Or getting that shift going on. So we're at 72 beats per minute, which is a little slow, but we're focusing on these techniques. One, two, three, four. Nothing too crazy there. All right, line two, double stops. Double stop means to play two strings at the same time. It's nothing crazy. You just have to roll your bow over a little bit so that you can hit both strings and maybe add a touch more arm weight so that you're pressing both. Not too much or you will crush the sound. Um, measure two, you've got a D and an A. <laughs> Okay, so you're doing both of those at the same time. Uh, measure four is just A, and then measure six is D and A. Okay, here we go. Two, three, four. So this is going to be focusing on your E string. 
Now, the first part of line three, you start on D string and then you're gonna drop down. This is very similar to your string warm-ups and how the scale works on the back of that and what you're gonna be seeing in your second year of playing. So you start on D string. <laughs> our second finger on this E string, okay? Because we got to get a G natural, not a G sharp, G natural. Take your time on this. Go slowly. Uh, work through each note. We're going to go at 72 beats per minute, which is pretty close to where we want to have it, okay? So here we go. One and two and three and four and... that string change because you got to bounce over but it happens a lot because we don't have the extension on our bases to go down to D or C and so on and so forth line four this is in C major so make sure that we're getting that second finger on the D string okay and on the A string C naturals and F naturals so second finger um, again go slowly it's very similar to the line three, but it is in a different key, slightly different strings. Take your time. So on and so forth, so you can make sure of every note. We're going at 72 beats per minute again. Here you go. One. One, two, ready, and. Exercises, take your time, make sure you get the right notes.